What is going on guys? Welcome back to Tempest TV. So after six months in Thailand, I feel like I have a pretty good idea if I'm ever going back to the States. Today we're breaking down five reasons why I don't see myself moving back to the United States or probably any Western country for the foreseeable future. I'm gonna give you my experiences and the differences that I see living in Thailand as opposed to living especially in the United States. Let's go. So obviously moving to Southeast Asia from a Western country, you're gonna go through a lot of big changes. You're gonna see different things. The world works completely different over here. Most things to the positive, some things to the negative in my opinion, but those negatives don't come anywhere close to the positives that you get when you move over here. So I've got five personal opinions for you on why I don't see myself going back, why I would consider if I were you getting over here as quick as you can, especially if you're ready for a change and you just want something completely different. Today we're gonna break it down. Okay, so number one, number five, these are in no particular order. Order is obviously what a lot of people start looking over here for the first reason and that's cost of living so obviously if you've ever been to a country where the cost of living is less the income is also less so if you're planning on coming to Thailand getting a job and using that as your income you're not gonna see that much of a difference obviously the wages in America are higher but the cost of living is way higher so you don't really see a difference the pro tip on way to get around this obviously is to try and still make a Western income while you are here easiest way to do that is online I personally do digital content creation there are tons of other ways to do it I have a few other videos talking about other ways you can make money from your computer but ideally if you can make a Western income even if it's a low income as far as it goes in the West your money here will take you much farther and this is one of the biggest reasons that I don't see myself moving back you don't need to nearly work as much or make as much for the things you do to live a super comfortable life I live comfortable here already and I'm really not making anywhere close to what I used to make in the States but my quality of life has completely shifted another big one is obviously gonna be the people don't get me wrong I do miss plenty of my friends in the States I miss my family of course I had met plenty of great people in the United States but as a general rule People in Southeast Asia, especially Thailand, are just a little bit more friendly. People are more open to talking to you on the streets. You can walk up and approach people and people aren't generally rude. Obviously, there's people in the States who are completely fine with this as well. But I remember how many times I'd be in the States and I'd be somewhere and I'd need directions or something like that. And people treat you like you're an asshole for coming up and interrupting whatever they have going on. I think generally people in the States are just a lot more stressed. So they don't really want to spend time trying to figure out or help you with your problems. So in general, I found that Thai people are a lot more friendly a lot more helpful when it comes to certain things Thai people are very proud of their country so they're happy to help you get around if you're trying to find stuff to do or places to see generally you're gonna have a much better experience meeting people in Thailand than you probably would in your home country so another huge one that a lot of people talk about and is a big one for me because it's always been a big part of my life it's what I spent my most money on when I lived in the States and that's food so I'm sure if you're doing your research you're watching videos like this one you've heard that Thai food is amazing which it definitely is and don't worry even if you don't like spicy stuff there's plenty of good stuff that isn't spicy but not only just Thai food especially if you're in Thailand in a lot of the more touristy areas Bangkok Pattaya Phuket there's lots of travelers that come from all over the world and lots of people retire here for some of the reasons we're gonna talk about today open up other businesses things like that so not only can you find good Thai food but there's people from all over the world so you can find all sorts of really good food here I found some amazing Japanese food here I found really good Good Greek food here I've had some American food here that is much better than the stuff you get in the States and kind of going with this hand in hand like we said I spent most of my money on food when I lived in the States the food here is much cheaper so you don't necessarily feel as bad about going out to eat it's funny that generally going out to eat and going to like street markets and things like that in Thailand are actually cheaper most of the time than if you cook at home now if you're only cooking Thai food at home you could probably save a little bit of money there but it's at the end of the day you got to cook you got to clean the money you save in my personal opinion isn't really worth it but Thailand is a great place to experience all kinds of food not just Thai food just because there's so many people coming here for vacation retiring people that have gotten married and moved here full-time so you can find good stuff from all over the world another big reason for me especially when I was looking for a home base to start this channel and what I wanted to do and what I wanted to show and share with you guys Thailand is central to a lot of places that I want to visit so I wanted to go to Vietnam my entire life another thing I love Vietnamese food so I've always wanted to go there Australia has always been on my list South Korea Philippines even certain parts of Europe Nepal places like that are places that I've always wanted to go and travel from here obviously you don't have to go across an entire ocean so generally it's cheaper even a lot of flights from Thailand to Europe 
even though the distance is about the same if you're flying from the states lots of the flights are generally cheaper from thailand than they are if you're flying from even the east coast of the states and you're planning on going to europe so if you're planning on coming to thailand with the intent of traveling more thailand is a great place to set up a base of operations especially because it is so cheap you can actually even if you want to travel for a year you can pretty much still justify keeping a condo if you like it because it's so cheap you don't really feel bad about traveling and not living in that condo so it's a great place to set up if you want to continue to travel on from here another huge one for me definitely has to do with just the thai people in general so if you're from the states you probably know that there tends to sometimes be influence from other people if you're doing things that might go against the grain. There's still a very conservative culture in the States, even if you have tattoos and piercings, stupid things like that, people tend to look at you funny or whatever it is. Now, I'm sure if you're one of those people that probably doesn't bother you too much, you're probably used to it at this point. And don't get me wrong, this does happen in Thailand. Thailand is generally a pretty conservative culture as well, but people are so conscious of not wanting to be rude or make themselves look rude they at least won't say anything to you about it. People in the States tend to be very in your face about the way that they feel, which I think is a good thing sometimes to be open about your opinions. But when it comes to imposing your opinions on other people, I'm super against that. I'm all about live your life. As long as you're not bothering anybody else, who cares? Lots of people, especially the older generation in the States, tends to not be like that. The amount of videos you see at Karen's and places like that, those are all coming from the States, which is pretty wild. You don't see any of that here. You don't see people walking down the street and saying rude stuff to people just to say it to them. That's just not a thing here. So the Thai people are very good about kind of just keeping to themselves. As long as you're not bothering anybody else, as long as you're not walking around being a dick, screaming, you know, cussing at people, yelling at waitresses and things like that, it's not gonna be a problem. You can do whatever you want here, nobody cares. There's really no judgment, and if there is, nobody has the audacity to come up and say it to you as if what you're doing really matters to them. And last but not least, kind of going hand in hand with that, all these things, if you culminate them all together and just kind of put it as a complete vibe of what Thailand is, it is just much more low speed, it's much more laid back, everybody has their own thing going on and they're not worried about what you're doing, so everything is just more relaxed. Everybody's just trying to have a good time, everybody's just trying to find a reason and a smile as opposed to the states where sometimes it can feel like everybody is just really upset and i think there's a lot more reasons for that in the states than a lot of other things political stuff i won't get into in this video i don't have enough time or memory on this card but generally thailand is just much more low speed sometimes this can kind of be a bummer service and things like that are a little bit slower but that's just because People realize so many day-to-day -day things that a lot of people worry about in the States are just not that big a deal. Life goes on and everybody is just doing their best to be happy. All right guys, so that was five or six reasons, I guess, on why I don't see myself moving back to the US anytime soon or anywhere in Europe, probably on top of that. I hope maybe I could give you a better idea of what the general vibe is here in Thailand and the big contrast that it is to most of the Western countries. As always, if you guys would like to support the channel, best way to do that is to like the video, go down, drop a subscribe if you wanna be updated every time I upload a new video. I upload every single day and I do live streams twice a week. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, tell somebody you love them.